Hi, I'm Jackie. I am one of the owners and founders of Recharge, which is a therapeutic massage and a yoga studio that is also mobile. And we've made a YouTube channel and I would like to show you our first video. And I'm going to do a very simple sun salutation A just to get us started this morning. I'm starting out simple. I'm not good with technology or YouTube, so uh, don't hate on me too much whenever I post it, okay? So we're gonna start with our sun salutation A. Once again, I'm Jackie Crumley and uh, Namaste. So, for Sun Salutation A, we're going to start off in Tandasana. You're really going to put those toes down. You want your legs hip width apart. You can test that by putting both your fists into your thighs. So that's how you know you're hip width apart. So I'm hip width apart. As you can tell, since we are a massage therapy uh, service as well, uh, you can tell that my I have a little bit, a little bit of external rotation to this right leg. You can see it's pointing out more, and that is mainly because my gluteus uh, medius from from work, uh, another job. So I really try to correct my posture in Tandasana because that is what you can do in mountain pose. Tandasana is mountain pose. So you stand, see it's trying to, it, it tries to rotate out. So lift your toes up. Just wiggle those toes up, lift them up and Put them back down on your mat. Take some deep breaths. You can put your arms where your energy is going down to the ground, or you can turn them to where your shoulders are open and your heart is accepting everything that the day has come to you. That choice is yours. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do with my heart open. So I'm going to broaden my chest a little bit, expand my clavicles, lift my head up, take some deep breaths in through your nose, out through your nose, and make sure it's a nice rhythmic. Doesn't have to be fast. Doesn't have to be slow. What you're doing is grounding and centering your energy here. Slowing yourself down. When you get ready, you're going to do your first upward raise. You're going to come up with your palms facing each other. Back bend if you like. Come down, you're going to inhale, exhale into a forward fold. Now, if you can't do a forward fold traditionally, and that's where your head touches your knee, bend your knees and touch your tummy to your thighs and put your hands on the ground and let them hang. Take a deep breath in here. Put your hands on the ground, on your mat. Move your feet in a little. And you're gonna take your left foot and step back into runner's pose. So we're gonna get ready to run a race. As you get ready, we're gonna put your hands flat I kind of have to put my knee out because of my top heaviness. 
and we're going to go into a plank, a nice high plank. So the safest way for you to do a plank is to make sure your elbows are over your wrists, your shoulders are over your elbows, your head can be down, your head can be up, whatever is comfortable for you. So, high line, um, high plank. And then we're gonna go into our chaturanga. A chaturanga is a yoga push-up. So keep your curls, your toes curled. Make sure you're down, you're gonna come up forward because you want your elbows in line. And you're gonna come down, you're gonna inhale. Exhale into downward dog. So downward dog, release your toes. Keep your arms nice and straight. Don't drop your shoulders. Inhale. You're gonna curl your toes. Come into downward dog. So for downward dog, you want a neutral spine. You want to splay your fingers. Take some deep breaths. I use downward dog a lot as a uh, resting pose. <sighs> and sometimes you just have to get it out. Um, make sure you're in neutral spine. Uh, you want to twist, as you can see, my hands kind of slipped. Make sure you twist your triceps out because you really want to protract your um, scapulas. You want to let your head hang down. And if you can't quite make a neutral spine, bend your, bend your knees. Take a deep breath. And then you're gonna come into runner's lunge. Okay. Yes, runner's I'm all in runner's, runner's lunge. I have trouble, so bring your right leg forward. Here we go with our runner's lunge. We're gonna put both hands on the mat, walk it up, <clears throat> do a half lift. Half lift, uh, you can look forward, you can look down, but you really want a neutral spine there. Make sure my pants aren't falling off. So, neutral spine, then you're gonna inhale. Exhale into a forward fold. I cannot yet touch my knees to my head, my uh, head to my knees without bending my knees yet. Very tight hip flexors and um, hamstrings. You're gonna inhale, exhale, come up. Palms together. Look at the sky, project your energy up. Come back down into Tadasana. And then we're just going to go back into Rooting down and feeling good. So, now that we got the basics of that, let me pull my pants up real high. This is supposed to be high waisted. <clears throat> Let's do it for real. And we're gonna do it two or three times. This is a warm up. This is, this gets your body warm. This gets your body ready for that next session of your yoga session, whether it's a, power yoga, hip, hip hop yoga, a restorative yoga, a yin, a hatha, an ashtanga, whatever. This is gonna warm your body up and get you hot and ready to go. So remember, let's start off. We're not talking during this one, we're just doing. I'll give you the inhales and exhales and you follow with me, okay? So come into Mountain Pose. Mountain Pose is Tadasana. You can open your collarbone and look out. Find 
is your breath. On your next exhale, I want you to exhale up. <sighs> Inhale, exhale into forward fold. Inhale, exhale into a half lift this time. Inhale, exhale into a left runner's pose. Inhale, exhale into a high plank. Inhale, exhale into chaturanga. Inhale, exhale into upper dog and crawl your toes. Inhale, exhale, curl your toes. Come into downward dog. Inhale, exhale, bring your right foot forward into runner's lunge. <sighs> Put both hands on the mat. Inhale, exhale, bring your left foot forward. Inhale, exhale, into a half lift. Inhale, exhale into the forward fold. Inhale, exhale and roll it up until you feel those vertebrae. Inhale, exhale with your arms up. Bring your arms to heart center. And then down into Tandasa. What a fabulous way to start your day. And now, if I was actually doing a full on practice, we would do this two more times, or we would do a sun salutation A twice and sun salutation B twice. We'll do sun salutation B on Thursday. How does that sound? All right, namaste, and I hope you enjoy our uh, new YouTube channel called Recharge, and I will post it so you guys can see it. Thank you so much for being in my studio with me today. It has meant the world to me.